So there was chaos behind I that. Did. Like hidden chaos. Hidden chaos. I never really talked about that, but the closets were just atrocious. Wow. I mean, you opened it up, you could, I mean, it was packed like a hoarder. <gasps> but like, if you didn't open anything or you didn't open the drawer, the house looked immaculate. Wow, that's so interesting. I got to talk to my therapist about that. Yeah. What is that? That's so interesting. I, I think my mom always wanted everyone to think she was normal, that she was she had it all. She had, you know, she had class and she was an intellect and this. And, you know, it was one of those Wizard of Oz. Yeah. You know, you look behind the curtain, it's like, oh. She yeah. was afraid of that. I, I think and we all have also, that. I think so too. You know, it's so interesting. You, it's uh, it's so interesting. I um, I had an oddly similar experience. So, when my dad passed away, I kind of was very numb for probably like about a year. Like I actually couldn't shed a tear it was wild did you go on any antidepressants or anything i did well i mean not antidepressants but i was taking too many pills for sure and uh. i was very very anxious and you know just like all all of the things just trying to just you know constantly placate just like right just this just tempering anything because anything that i felt just felt like too big and so yeah. it was like this is like there's a year and then Maybe like five years after my dad passed away. This is so wild. Um, my cupboards, the way you're describing what your house was, that was like my house. And um, uh, my best friend, um, Emily, she had encouraged me to do Marie Kondo, the life-changing magic of tidying up. Do you know that book? No. <gasps> oh my God, it's so amazing. Is so, it one of those things where it says, if you haven't touched it, get rid of it? If yes. you haven't, yeah. yeah. yeah Does yeah, it yeah. spark joy? Yes or no, there's no maybes. Have you um, read that? No, it was a Netflix show, right? It was a Netflix it, show. Spark Joy, that's Yeah, Spark Joy, <laughs> but yeah. there's an actual book and, and they take you through because she, she anticipates, like you, you there's no, you know, people have such a deep emotional attachment where it comes to like pictures or cards, right? Or, or like whatever, whatever, whatever. Or like instruction manuals for whatever. I know thing. you don't need them. There's tutorials that's on YouTube. And that's what she said. She was like, throw them away. You Google the model number and boom, there it is. So there's like an answer for everything. Wow. So initially, M brings this up to me and I have such a visceral reaction, which at first was like, uh, no way could I do that. And then it became like this obsession, like I have to do this. And I realized that, you know, when you open my cover, it's the same thing. Like, like stuff was crammed in there. And I realized I hadn't touched anything since before my father died. And I, and I understood that I was holding on to what was. And I like literally wasn't ready to let go. And it was this deep purge of an experience that can I like no shit. It changed my life when I actually did it. 